Hey guys, here we have Dishonored 2. Um, we're running through this version, having a quick look at all the options. We're going to go through each segment and in particular pay attention, of course, to the visuals department and maybe run a few tests, see how it's running and how much VRAM it's using in different configurations. So uh, without further ado, we'll get hit straight into the options menu here. And uh, we've got controls. So we're going to controls. Let's have a quick look at what we got. Control scheme. Uh, we can go there we go controller preset a pretty straightforward standard issue preset b c a b c okay so we've got three go back uh, vibration on and off simple enough view sensitivity x and y there invert y axis Depends if you want to do that or not. Handy for flying games sometimes. Uh, auto aim model. We got snap. What else have we got? Friction. Oh, just snap and frick. Oh no, snap friction and off. Okay, default being snap there by the look of it. Auto aim strength. Well, it seems to have toggled directly to 100%. You probably want to dial that down if you're playing on a uh, mouse keyboard. Uh, let's have a quick look. All right, keyboard mapping. There's your standard issue keys, as you would expect, for your front, back, left and right. Stealth mode, sprint, sword. Oh, we've got quite a few more here. What we got? I think the default keys are, are pretty well rounded looking at that, to be honest with you. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Oops, wrong way. Right, mouse keyboard. Sensitivity overall from 15 at the moment. Obviously up and down for that one. Mouse smoothing. Mm, okay, mouse smoothing. Not to be mixed up with uh, mouse acceleration. It's on zero as standard. Probably leave that there as well. Don't think I want that on. Invert Y axis. Yes and no. Auto aim model off. Snap or friction. Similar to the controller set up into the, uh, the menu. Auto aim strength, again on 100%. Probably toggle that down for this mouse keyboard. Sprint mode, keyboard toggle or hold. Yeah, makes sense. Tap the key or keep pressing the key to sprint. Lean mode, keyboard toggle or hold down. Yeah, as expected. Back. Okay, so the next one. Uh, we're on visuals, so this is probably going to be the more in-depth one. This is using the a version of, should I say, the ID Tech engine. I haven't run this game myself yet. This is the first time I booted it up. So uh, with ID Tech, <laughs> who knows what's going to happen? I guess we'll find out. So video settings, you've got resolution there, 16 by 9 in brackets. So I'm guessing that's going to support your ultra wides. Seeing as it's got that in brackets, yeah, there we go. 16 by 10. Mm. Yeah, it'll support all rides, 4v3. I can't test that, sadly. I haven't got to, I got that to test. It will go up to the maximum resolution of whatever your card supports. VRAM allowing. I've got a 4GB four, four card here, so that's my maximum as standard. Uh, display mode. Obviously, we're going to have full screen. And what we got? Windowed mode and borderless full screen. Again, standard issue. Your brightness level and your field of view. Up to 110. We'll leave everything on the default for now for these uh, tests. Okay, so what we got? Quality settings. Preset auto. Okay, so it's preset to low. That I would not expect to happen. If that's correct, then wow. Be warned if you've got less than 4 gigabyte VRAM. Let's have a look what we got. We got ultra. Unfortunately, no VRAM indicator. That's a shame. Very high, high, medium, low, and very low. So there is actually a very low. That's worrying. If this is defaulted to low for my system, it doesn't really uh, appeal. I would believe every option is going to follow suit. Very high, high, medium, low, very low. Right, yeah, they're all going to gonna do it let's have a quick look through make sure yes they're all all the same 
I have heard reports that this is a, a pretty poorly optimised game. Guess I'm going to find out. They are all very low, low, medium, high, very high and ultra. Uh, so, yeah, every single one. Fog quality. Well, that's not, that's different. Just high and low. Okay. Post processing anti aliasing. I'm on TXAA times one. FXAA high, FXAA low, and off. Okay. And we've even got a sharpness for TXAA as well. Sort of defaulted in the center there. We go up to 20. Yeah, so 10 is the middle. Bloom, yes. Camera motion, yes. Depth of field, yes. Lens flare, light shafts, rat shadows. Of course, this game does have a lot of rats in it, doesn't it? Blood fly shadows. It's a good one. So, if we tame this down one notch, what do we lose? Well, we lose a setting on each of those, of course. Uh, everything's still on at the bottom. We're all, yes, okay. High, again, notch down one. Still on TXAA. Still with everything switched on. Medium. Here we go. Now there's the big change look. We're still on TXAA, but it switched off every single option in one fell swoop. That's, that would need tailoring by the individual. So low, FXAA high. And very low, FXAA low. Fog quality still high. Okay. So we'll stick everything back to Ultra. I always start right at the very top. And then grumble and moan when it runs rubbish. V Sync on. Half or off, I would imagine. Yes. Okay, we'll leave that on. Adaptive resolution. Now, that's something you see on the consoles an awful lot when they're struggling to uh, propel the game along at fantastic 30 frames per second they have the adaptive resolution which drops the resolution down to keep the game running as smoothly and quickly as the console can cope with so v-sync based or off well i don't want to drop below 1080 i would class that as the very minimum because you if your monitors are 1080 you want the native res pixel for pixel yeah anything below that it's a bit like when you see the 900p xbox one games They've got a bit of a blur to them. It's, it's not really very nice. I'd rather drop other settings than the resolution. I'd always try and keep that as a native uh, resolution. Adaptive resolution FPS target. 59 because we've got VSync on. I guess if we turn that off. Turn it off. Can we adjust it? No. Right. Okay. That's unexpected. What about there? Now we can. Adaptive resolution quality. Mm, balanced and performance. Well, that's quite some options. Like I said, I don't want that. So turn that off. Put VSync on. FPS limiter. Yeah, that's a good thing to have. If this game runs like trash, we could always limit it down to uh, speedy console settings of 30 frames per second. Uh, triple buffering. I did say that without laughing as well. Please note. Triple buffering. Uh, we got off and on. Okay, we'll leave that on off. HBAO plus. Yes or no? That's simple enough, isn't it? Is that it? Okay, that's, that's everything. Yes, supply settings. Right. Audio. Let's have a look at audio. Audio is at headphones, yes or no? Uh, I can't see any other options at all for surround systems, so we're clearly only stereo in this game. That's a shame. And then you've just got master music, sound effects, speech, video volume, and subtitles on and off. It's a bit bare bones, really, isn't it? That one. Gameplay Auto use mana elixirs. Yeah, this is up to yourself to tailor into it, really. Depends how you want to play the game. Auto-saving journal. Yeah, I'd probably keep that one tagged. 
kill cam normal frequent off okay head bob yeah 100 percent hood display tutorials yes or no crosshair style yeah, that's nothing is it simple or normal okay crosshair opacity yeah display health mana breadth span meter so it's just on or off oh no fade out with oh fade out when in, when inactive or off so you've got three settings okay so we'll leave it on fade out display interactions display object notifications display notifications display object highlighting and display pickup log display contextual icons on and off for all of them okay back to the uh, main menu there I uh, suppose we'll try some visuals we'll start with ultra well full ultra at 1080p in this room we're looking at between what 35 or no 30 and 60 fps roughly the window yeah 30 is my lowest drop sort of thing foliage isn't nice and flat <laughs> it's defined enough though into everything you can always tell these id tech engine games they've got a certain look to them very hard to put your finger on okay so if we go around here and just focus on that the book covers there are nice and detailed right we'll stay there so this is on ultra at 1080 vram usage um three and a half gigabytes of uh, vram there and we're on 12 and a half gigabytes of normal ram cpu sorry gpu usage 87 percent so a bit of scope okay let's go to visuals now on resolution i will just note i have tried going to 1440p and 4k and the game basically crashes it doesn't like vsr you know virtual super resolution uh, it flickers the screen up at four times the size of the monitor and then just seems to crash so i won't be trying to show you that it uh, it just doesn't work so at the moment i've got to stick to my native res for my monitor a little bit annoying probably do a little bit of faffing in the uh, any files or something to get it fixed but for now here we go so it's quality and um, we'll drop it down we'll go, we'll go sort of two at a time um so there's high let's apply that apply settings yes okay okay details are still pretty good book cover not too bad frames per second 60 running it on the controller at the minute you can seamlessly swap to mouse keyboard there should you wish uh, okay yeah it's holding 60 better than before it was a bit a little bit jerky still in the odd drops to 35 but like i say that'd be the id tech engine it's a trait of it isn't it not looking too bad on high to be honest can't really tell the difference still looks pretty good shadows and everything yeah god rays yeah no problem there right okay so let's drop this down now to ah oh, medium drops a lot look texture details all drop down one and everything is turned off so we'll go to medium see what the difference is apply settings okay books are still pretty defined doesn't look too bad there still getting the frame rate drops there it's uh, it's definitely the engine okay not too bad on medium uh, just over two gigabytes of VRAM use. We've got 2.2 and a half. So um, not quite suitable for those with the two gigabyte card. You're going to need to drop it lower. Probably drop a couple of effects down and you'd manage it then. So let's have a look. If 
we go all the way down, and we'll go to very low. There we go. Everything is off, apart from fog quality, which stays at high, strangely enough. And you can go off on post AA as well. All right. Apply settings. Okay, yeah, the visuals have took a hit straight away. I can see a lot of staircasing. The book cover there looks very blurred and undefined. You would expect this. We are running now under the 2 gigabytes of VRAM though, so not too bad. All the god rays, you see the sunshine that was coming through the windows, that's, that's vanished now. It's to be expected really. I'm sure if you unlock the frame rate, it would probably be sort of 80, 90 at this setting, probably higher. Leaves have took a big hit. Look at those leaves. They were pretty nasty before, but they're even worse now. Okay, no problem though running it on a uh, 2 gigabyte card. You'll be fine. System memory's dropped down to under 10 gigabytes as well. You could probably run it within 8, eight gigabytes of memory. It's just going to use your page file a lot more. Okay, so one more thing. Options. Visuals. If we go, where are we? Let's go back to Ultra. But if we go to Advanced, you'll notice here we've got Adaptive Resolution. You know, it uh, features a lot on the consoles where they can't hold the resolution uh, to keep that really high 30 frames per second that they run at, supposedly. And so they've dropped the resolution to try and keep there. Yeah, I'm only joking, I play on consoles as well. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so adaptive resolution, VSync based, manual, or always. Okay, let's leave it fully on. Frame rate target. Oh, it's in uh, single increments, all the way down to thirty. Okay, so adaptive resolution, quality, performance, balanced, or quality. Hmm. Let's go performance. Frame limit limiter, yeah. Okay, triple buffering off. No. Apply, yes. Let's see if we can spot this. Spot it drop. Okay, visuals have come straight back up, as you can see. It's trying to aim for ultra at all times. A little bit jerky. I have not got this installed on an SSD. This is installed on a 7200 hard drive, not an SSD. I'm recording to an SSD, a Samsung one, and Windows 10 Pro is on an Intel SSD. So maybe if the game was installed to an SSD, you would uh, fare a bit better. It is trying harder to hold its frame rate, but to be fair, I'd say it's actually smoother without this adaptive res. I don't like it. It's causing stutter. Let's go back to options, visuals. Okay, so let's turn that off again. I don't like that one. Uh, game settings, you've got all your normal stuff there for your presets. They all work on ultra, very high, high, medium, low, very low. There's a couple of exceptions, but character detail, water details, environment detail, shadow quality, detail quality, fog quality. That starts at high, that's worth a note. High and low, that's it. Post-process anti-aliasing, we're on TXAA times one. And we've got FXAA high, FXAA low and off. We'll keep that on the max. And a sharpness as well, a bit unusual. What else have we got? Bloom, camera motion, depth of field, lens flare, and light shafts. Rat shadows. That's a good one, isn't it, for a game? Rat shadows. I know this game does feature a lot of sewers and stuff like that, so, yeah. Uh, blood fly shadows. Ooh, very good. Apply settings. Okay. And I would say... That pretty much wraps this video up. If it was any help to you at all, please click like. You know, could always do with a like on the videos there. It shows that people are, you know, getting something out of these and I'm not wasting my time. <laughs>
yeah thanks for watching and goodbye till next time